Welcome back. Well, you're still tuned into Halftime Report on CNBC TV 18. Let's get you an interesting corporate conversation on the sidelines of the City Treasury and Finance Conference in Jaipur. Our colleague Lata Venkatesh caught up with Sunil Mathur, who's the MD and CEO of Siemens, and began by asking him on the CapEx cycle and also on why is the power sector such a star sector currently? I think first there is definitely a structured um, strategy now of the government of what needs to be done. Secondly, that strategy has been communicated to the equipment suppliers, to the developers. Thirdly, policy is slowly coming around with the recent policy changes that have been made there. Fourthly, the demand is huge. Uh, we're going to have to double our generation capacities. We're going to have to double our transmission capacities. Um, the distribution networks in the states are going to need to be upgraded. So the demand is huge. And I think all of this is slowly coming together. What's your sense in terms of how much we'll be able to uh, improve upon a very good first quarter performance? Uh, will the full year be as good as the first quarter numbers or even better? Well, I think um, we'll have to see. I expect it'll probably be as good as what we've just seen. Um, the variable in that equation is, of course, elections and the announcements and the code of conduct that gets kicked in, because a lot of this is government-related yes. uh, expenditure. So that's a variable in the equation. But intrinsically, I think um, the sector is strong. Okay. What, what about margins? Uh, do you think you can improve upon margins because we see the wholesale price index falling? So, uh... Well, margins largely have been a function of commodity prices. And uh, commodity prices are coming down. But simultaneously, uh, the number of players in the sector, particularly in transmission, have actually gone up. And the business is shifting from being product sales to being EPC. So you have the EPC uh, contractors going out and acquiring orders at prices which are very, very competitive and driving that down into the product life. So I believe the margins will start getting under pressure shortly. Okay, okay, because of competition yes. and undercutting. Yes. Uh, what about uh, the, the railway segment? That also is now bristling with orders. Uh, do we see you throwing your hat in the ring for future Vande Bharat orders or other locomotive orders? Absolutely. And here again, we see a very clear strategy of the railways. We see a roadmap of what needs to be done. Locomotives, more locomotives, more signaling. The electrification needs to be completed. Uh, Vande Bharat, Vande Metros. So there's a lot in the pipeline there. We will be a part of that story, definitely. What do you expect in terms of growth in your railway segment, say over the next two years, not an immediate. Yeah, it's difficult for me to project. A lot of it depends on when these large bulk orders come out and you get another large locomotive tender that spikes everything up. But I think the underlying business is growing pretty smoothly, 5 to 7% on an average. Okay. You expect uh, orders to come in, one of those bu big bulk ones, uh, in this financial year? It's difficult to say. It's I mean, if elections are say, advanced, it yeah, exactly. So it's it's difficult to say. Um, the tender is out for one of them. Um, there is a pipeline for a couple more. Um, when exactly the railways brings those demands into the market, we'll have to see. Okay. And uh, uh, what is the expectation in terms of uh, the capex cycle? Is that uh, you know? steady even if there are elections you expect uh... so i'd like to split the capex cycle into three parts one is the central government related capex the second is the state government and then there's the private part yes. i think the central government is strong it's moving well the state government is is doing okay but there's a huge upside potential there and the private sector is picking up so I think um, the elections will definitely have an impact to, to some extent on the large central government orders and some of the state government. I don't think the code of conduct kicks in for just routine orders. So I think the routine orders will, of course, happen. But the bulk ordering will probably slow down depending on when elections happen. Okay. And uh, private capex is picking up in which sector? And uh, what makes you say it is picking up? What, what is like this quarter's orders better than uh, same time last year? Well, capacity utilizations in the country are up to 75, 76%. And that's a good sign. That's the first time that um, 
industrial industrial companies start looking at the runway ahead. Yes, yes. What is the demand ahead? And this is where they start thinking about expanding. And this is what they have started doing. Data centers, pharmaceuticals, even automotive, um, and then new age areas. E-vehicles is a, is a huge one, fuel cells, batteries. These are all coming on stream. It takes time between an announcement and realizing that into the tendering process. It's just design, it is sourcing, it's the entire process. And I think we are slowly getting there and the ordering will start happening shortly. Okay, just final question. There was that permission that you didn't get from the shareholders. Is there any way you are resolving it? Well, I think the shareholders have taken a call, have made a decision. We've um, communicated that to the board. We will review all the options, and when we are ready, we'll go to the board again. Okay, that's the word coming in from Siemens. Let's slip into a quick break. On the other side of the break, Prakash Gaba will join in with some trading strategies.